Gandhi. Hallelujah, Rabba Shekira Bore. Glory to your mighty name. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah, Father God. We lift you up in the precious name of Jesus Christ. We call on your name, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We magnify it in Jesus Christ's name. Good evening. This is the Heart of David International Ministries. Hey, glory to God. This is our evening service. We thank you for joining us. <laughs> we do ask that you like, subscribe, and share. Hallelujah. Leave your comments if you like. In the name of Jesus Christ. Don't leave nothing crazy on here, please. <laughs> glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah, glory, glory, glory. I do want to remind you that I ask that you check this book out. You can get it on uh, on uh, Amazon or you can get it on Kindle. It's talking about the power of your prayer. It is the power of your prayer. Thank God for the power of prayer for the apostles and the prophets and your pastor and your evangelist. Sometimes you can't reach them. Sometimes you can't get to them. You have to understand that your prayer has power. Hey, glory to God. As long as you are uh, praying according to God's will. Hallelujah. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Our website is H-O-B-I-M. Dot org. That is our website, H-O-D, D as in door, H-O-D-I-M dot org. The church uh, email is H-O-D-I-M 1117 at gmail.com. <clears throat> Hallelujah. So if you want prayer, you have any comments, uh, you have any questions, we will answer your, um, your question to the best of our ability that's coming out of this Bible. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Let's just praise the Lord for a minute. Father God, we give you glory. We give you praise. We give you honor. And we magnify your holy name. <clears throat> Lord Jesus Christ, we lift you up on today. <clears throat> we lift you up and we praise you and we magnify your holy name. We thank you for the Holy Ghost and fire, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, thank you for the Holy Ghost and fire being on the inside of us, Lord. Thank you for the Holy Ghost and fire being in our hands. <laughs> thank you for the Holy Ghost and fire <clears throat> being in our mouth and in our tongues, Lord, from the crown of our head to the soles of our feet. We thank you for Holy Ghost and fire. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we thank you for the power in your word, the Holy Ghost fire. Lord, we thank you that there's power in the blood of Jesus. We thank you that there's power in your word in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you that there's power in the name of Jesus Christ. We give you glory today, Lord. We give you glory, we give you praise, and we give you all of the honor, Lord. Lord Jesus Christ, we are in great expectation, Lord. Hallelujah for the move of God to be in this service, Lord. Hallelujah, that blind eyes be opened, that the lame to walk in the dumb to talk, in the name of Jesus Christ, that healing come forth, Lord, that that cancer be dried up, Father God. Hallelujah, that you, that you clean the blood, Father God, the kidneys, the liver, the heart work right, Father God. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, we thank you for keeping us in our right mind. In the name of Jesus, we praise you for that, Lord. 
We praise you and we honor you. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for the power of prayer, Lord. We thank you for the faith in our prayer. We thank you, Father God, because you said without faith, it is impossible to uh, please you. Father God, we want to please you, Lord. Jesus Christ, increase our faith in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, Lord. We give you all the glory, all the praise, and all of the honor on today. <laughs> In the blessed name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for your written word, Father God. We thank you for the locals and the rhema word, your spoken word, your written word. <clears throat> thank you for the power in your word, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for their deliverance and healing. Hallelujah. In your name. We thank you, Lord, <clears throat> that there's great deliverance in your name, Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. We call Holy Ghost fire down right now from heaven in the name of Jesus. We bind up and cast out every devil, every demon, every evil entity that tried to stop this service, that's trying to stop this prayer. Holy Ghost fire come against you right now. We burn you up. We eradicate you from the root. We cast you back in the outer darkness and you shall not return again. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, Father. Glory to your mighty name. As you are getting healed through the prayer and through the word. Hallelujah. Send in your testimonies. Email us. Glory to God. Your testimony. Thank you. Hallelujah. As you as you as they gave you terminal cancer. Hey, they said you had stage four of whatever kind of cancer it is. You pronounce it healed right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost fire. Go down in there. Hallelujah. Take that cancer out, burn it up, Lord, that there'll be no trace of cancer. In the name of Jesus Christ, we glorify you today, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, we thank you for the word of prophecy. We thank you for the world, word of healing and miracles and signs and wonders. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. <clears throat> Amen. Glory to God. Our subject today is like I said. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. We need to press. Listen, uh, today I've just been tired. Like, I've been tired. But I got to press through it. I had to press through the morning service. I got to give you whatever God is telling me to give out. Hallelujah. I got to press towards the mark of the high calling. Why? Because I know it ain't me. Trust me. Listen, I know it's only Christ Jesus. I know it's only the Holy Ghost and fire down on the inside of me. Glory to God. That gives me the revelation and the anointing. Glory to God. That gives me the anointing for deliverance and healing. Hallelujah. For prophecy and casting out devils and healing the sick and signs and wonders and miracles. In the name of <laughs> of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. We glorify you and we praise you today. So let's go uh, to uh, Philippians chapter 3. Verse 14. It says this. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Look, you got to press toward the mark. Hallelujah. For the prize of the calling of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. We got to press toward the mark of the high calling in Christ Jesus. Glory to your mighty name. We got to continue to press. Just like our mercies are new every morning, every morning, 
we got to continue to press towards that mark of the high calling of God. Even when we don't feel like it, when your fleshly body is tired, we got to still press towards the mark of the calling of a, a high calling of God in Christ Jesus. That is what we do. Listen, Jesus Christ has created us. And we, he has created us so we can worship him. Hallelujah. He has created us so we can praise and magnify his holy name. That's why God created us. Hallelujah. So we have to press towards the mark. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. For the prize of the high calling of God. The high calling of God. Hallelujah. I want to be in God's presence as much as humanly, physically as possible. I want to be in the presence of God. I want to be in the presence of God when I'm dealing with my family. I want to be in the presence of God. Hallelujah. When I'm at work. Excuse me. I want to be in the presence of God at all times. Hallelujah. See, when you press toward the mark of the calling, of the high calling of God, you don't have time to get into stuff you don't have no business doing. If you, if my God, if you press toward the mark of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus, you won't have time to get in a belt. You don't have time to fornicate. You don't have time to be an abomination like homosexuality, bestiality, and masturbation. You don't have time for that. You don't have time to watch uh, um, X-rated movies. You don't have time to participate in orgies. You don't have time to be blocked and scheming and planning. <laughs> Oh, how are you going to rob and steal somebody? How are you going to rob a bank? You don't have time for that. Because all that is not, uh, uh, and, and when you, if you do all that, you're not pressing for the mark of the high calling of God. <laughs> Hallelujah. I said, if you do all that, you won't have time if you press them towards the mark of the, of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. You don't have time to be plot, plotting and planning and scheming to do some sinful stuff. You don't. Why? Because when you press them towards the mark of the high calling of God, hallelujah, let me read this again. Philippians chapter 3, verse 14. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. If you are pressing toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus, you don't have time to be thinking about sin. You don't have time to be thinking about revenge. If we're pressing toward the mark, hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. We're pressing toward the mark for the prize of the high calling. For the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. That means if we're doing that, this is how we renew our mind because we're pressing for that mark. We want to please God. We want to please God in every way. In everything that we do, we want to please God. Hallelujah. And everything that we say, we want to please God. <clears throat> One thing that I've had to do or I've been trying to do when I'm mad and don't feel like working. Hallelujah. You got to say, Lord, I'm not working for them. I'm working on to you. Remember, you are always the light of the world. Uh, I mean, you're always that light that the world is looking at. No, look, if you don't think they're looking at you, hallelujah, they pay attention to everything that you do. They're paying attention to everything that you say. Are you participating and laughing at the dirty jokes? Hallelujah. 
Are, are, are you sitting down there and you reading your Bible and you really into people come and ask you questions? Hallelujah. In the anointing of God, the Holy Ghost fire that's on the inside of you will give you the knowledge and understanding to, uh, to answer that question. I don't care who it is. I don't care if it's somebody learned or unlearned. I don't care if they're in some kind of different religion. Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. I said glory to your mighty name. Let's read verse 15. Let us therefore, as many as be perfect, be thus minded. And if anything be, if anything ye be otherwise minded, God shall reveal even this unto you. So what is he saying? Let's read that again. Let's read verse 14 and 15 together in Ephesians chapter 3. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Let us therefore, as many as be perfect, be thou minded, and if any, and if in anything ye be otherwise minded, God shall reveal even this unto you. Hallelujah. Lord, we want you to reveal the secret things unto us. Hallelujah. We want you to lead us and guide us as we, uh, uh, my God, as we press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling. Hallelujah. Glory to God. That's what we press for. That's what we seek for. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Let's read verse 16. Nevertheless, whereto we have already attained, let us walk in the same rule. Let us, mm, my, let us mind the same thing. Hallelujah. So we're going to read. Thank you, Father God. Let's read verse 17. Hallelujah. Brethren, be ye followers towards, be ye followers together of me, and mark them which walk so as ye have us for an example. See, when you press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling, hallelujah, you become examples for all those who are saved and all those who are not saved. Hallelujah. Like I said a few minutes ago, they're watching you. They're watching you how you react. They're watching you when you get mad. They they listening to everything that you say. Hallelujah. They may not be saved. They may not be thinking about serving God, but you go ahead and say something crazy. They'll say, that ain't, that ain't God. That ain't in the Bible. Why are you doing that? They quick to let you know. Hallelujah. <clears throat> On our worst day, <clears throat> we have to continue to serve God. We have to continue to press towards a mark of the prize of a high calling of God <clears throat> in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Glory to your mighty name. So we have to continue to press forward the mark for the prize of a high calling in Christ Jesus. Because he just told you in verse 18, we are example to the world. The, the, the world, the world and the church. We are to, supposed to be example. And we are example. Let's read verse 18 again. And Philippians 3 and 18. For me, for many walk of whom I have told you often. Hey, glory to God. Mm -mm -mm. And now tell you, even weeping, that they are enemies of the cross of Christ. Hallelujah. All right. I meant verse 17. Let's go up to 17. Nevertheless, whereto we have 
already attained, let us walk by the same rule, let us mind the same thing. Hallelujah. That was 16. Let's do 17. Brethren, be followers together of me, and mark them which walk so as ye have us for an example. <clears throat> Paul said, could you have us as an example? Whether you like it or not, you are an example. Not just in your home. Not just at your family reunion. But that's everywhere you go. But that do mean your home. That do mean your family reunion. That do mean your workplace. <clears throat> Whether you are a CEO, an accountant, a janitor, uh, a secretary, uh, uh, an interpreter, whatever it is. Hey, glory to God. I said whatever it is. We are examples, and we just need to do that. So even when we write, we don't lose. We, even when we have a bad day, we don't lose our salvation just because. You don't go cuss somebody out. Talking about why well, I just had to tell them, no, that ain't it. That ain't Christ. Hallelujah. If anything, if you ain't nothing good going to come out of you, you hold your tongue. Well, I don't want nobody to think I'm weak. Well, I understand that too. But on the other hand, we got to do what Christ tells us to do. If he tells you to be quiet, are you going to be quiet? No, I just had to tell him. No, that's your flesh. <clears throat> In the name of Jesus Christ, hallelujah. So let's read. Glory to God. Let's read in Philippians chapter 3, verse 14. Hallelujah. Through 17. I press towards a mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Let us therefore, as many be as perfect, be thus minded. And if any, and if in anything ye be otherwise minded, God shall reveal even this unto you. Nevertheless, where whereto we have already attained, let us walk in the same room. Let us mm, glory to God. Let us mind the same things, brethren. Be followers together of me. And mark them which walk so as ye have us for an example. Hallelujah. So he's telling you right here, you are an example. Let's go to Luke 13 and 24. Luke chapter 13 and verse 24. Hallelujah. See, when we press toward the mark, of the prize of the high calling, we also strive to enter into the straight gate. Let's read Luke 13 and 24. Strive to enter in at the straight gate. For many, I say unto you, will seek to enter in and shall not be able. Hallelujah. Let's read that again. Did you hear what he said? Luke 13 and 24. Strive to enter in at the straight gate. For many, I say unto you, will seek to enter in and shall not be able. Hallelujah. Let's read 25. When once the master of the house is risen up and has shut to the door, and ye begin to stand without. And to knock at the door, saying, Lord, Lord, open unto us. And he shall answer and say unto you, I know I know you not whence you are. My God. He said, I know you not for whence you are, for who you are. I don't know you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. This is for all those who go to church and, and not living for God. God is not in your heart, is not in your spirit. The word is not in your heart. The word is not in your spirit. You just attend in church. You just there and you show up. 
There's a lot of people who just show up to class, but they don't do nothing. And then they wonder why they flunk. You ain't done nothing while well, I'm here every day, but you ain't done nothing. You ain't even tried to do nothing. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Shanda Baroko Rabarishi. Glory. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Let's go to Luke 6 and 46. Luke 6 and 46. He says, And why call ye me, Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? Whosoever comes to me and heareth my saying and doeth them, I will show you to whom he is like. He is like a man who built his house and dig deep and laid the foundation on a rock. And when the floods arose and the streams beat vermently upon the house and could not shake it, for it was founded upon a rock. Your foundation is founded on a rock, which is Jesus Christ, which is a key, chief cornerstone. If you have not built your foundation on the word of God, which is sound out, when the winds come and they blow, glory to God. Are, is your house going to be able to stand? Are you going to be able to stand? Look, despite the times that you cry, and you don't understand it. I don't know why this is happening to me, Lord. Lord Jesus, I have served you. I have done all I can to serve you to the best of my ability. Why is this happening to me? You cry it and you don't understand it. And sometimes you can't even hear God right now. I mean, you cannot hear God right now. You're praying. You're asking him to answer you. You're asking him to give you a sign and he's silent. Hallelujah. But if we have been pressed for that mark of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus, we know that he's still there, even though we can't feel him. We know, even though we cry and don't understand it, we know that he's working everything out for our good, even though, Lord, I don't want this to happen. Can you please stop it? Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Your will be done in my life. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. We got to continue to press towards the mark of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. That's why he can say, uh, uh, why call ye me Lord, Lord, and you do that the things that I say. Lord, I'm going to do everything that you say. I'm going to build my house upon a rock so when the winds come, hallelujah, I'll be able to stand in your word, Father God. Hallelujah. In uh, Luke 13 and 24, he says, strive to enter in the straight gate. For many, I say unto you, will seek to enter in and shall not be able. But if we're, if we're Oh, hallelujah. If if we press towards the mark of the high calling, if we press towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of, of God in Christ Jesus, we won't have to worry about him telling us we can't come in. We can't enter in. We have to deny our flesh every day, all day. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Because why? We're going to press towards the mark of the prize of the high calling in Christ Jesus. Glory to your mighty name. Glory, glory, glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, glory. Let's go to uh, 1 Corinthians. 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 25. He says this, And every man that strives for the mastery is temporary in all things. Now they do it to obtain a 
corruptible crown, but we are we and incorrupt. See, we want to obtain an incorruptible crown, and that is only in Christ Jesus. That's why we press towards the uh, uh, mark for the prize of the high calling of God. We want an incorruptible crown, not a corruptible one. We got to look for God who's up high. Hallelujah. Who's beyond the heavens. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. To your mighty name. Mm. So listen. Let's read verse 25 again and we're going to go to 27. For every man that striveth for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we an incorruptible. We serve God because we want an incorruptible crown. An uh, incorruptible crown is that's when we strive. Uh, what is that? That's why we press towards the mark for the pride of the high calling of God. We want an incorruptible crown. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. That's why we're going to enter in, in the straight gate. Straight is the gate, narrow is the way. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord Jesus. Let's read verse 27. <clears throat> 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 27. But I keep under my body and bring it into subjection, lest that by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a castaway. That's why we got to keep our body under subjection every day, all day. One second out of Christ, you don't want to expand that. Hey, glory to God. <clears throat> now, I understand that everybody is not, you can't nobody walk in the spirit 100% of the time, but that's what we strive for. Okay? So we're striving to be like Christ. We're striving to be perfect. And we know no man is perfect, none but Christ Jesus. But that is our goal. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Let's go to Matthew 5 and 48. It says, be ye perfect. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father, which is, which is in heaven, is perfect. Let's read that again, Matthew 5 and 48. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father, which is in heaven, is perfect. So we're, we're striving to be perfect like our Father, which is in heaven. But that's why we press forward the mark, hallelujah, for the, for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. That's why we're pressing forward the mark. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father God, in the mighty, glorious name of Jesus. Mm. Hey, glory, glory, glory to your mighty name. I said glory to your mighty name. We thank you, Lord. That's why, hallelujah, when we press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus, that's why, hallelujah, glory to God. Mm. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yada Baha. That's why we go to uh, Matthew 5 and 6. Hallelujah. Let's read 5, 6, and 7. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Mm. Hold on. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, 
for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Mm, glory to God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Hallelujah. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. You got to know you serving God to the best of your ability, you are going to be persecuted. Hallelujah. I said you're going to be persecuted. Why? Because they don't want to hear the truth. They don't want to hear the gospel. But you got to make a stand so you can hear, so you can uh, 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 spread the gospel in a your job. Your your most uh the most important thing about you spreading the gospel, it ain't the book knowledge that you know because you study the Bible. It is your lifestyle. <clears throat> it's all about your lifestyle. It's not just what you say, it's your lifestyle. Is the Holy Ghost down on the inside of you? It should be coming out. People should know it. People should feel it. Hallelujah. They don't like you because you are serving God. They don't like you because you are serving of, you are living holy, you are living righteous, you are living sanctified to the best of your ability, and they don't like that. But you got to press toward the mark for the pride of the high calling of God, hallelujah, in Christ Jesus. That's why we want to enter in the straight gate. Straight is the gate and narrow is the, is the way, hallelujah, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you in the mighty name of Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father God. Hallelujah. Luke 6 and 46. Let's read that again. And why call ye me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Mm, thank you, Father God. Mm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. So we got to understand. Glory to God. We want to press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ. Jesus. I said in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. We got to understand we can't conform to this world. No matter who don't like us. If, if your wife started rejecting you or your husband started rejecting you because you've given your life to Christ, you get prayed. Lord, you going to have to bring this man back around full circle. Lord, you have to bring this woman back around full circle. Lord, I'm not giving up on you. I'm not compromising my stands for my wife, my family, my children, for fame, fortune, money. No, I'm not. I, I'm not here for a popularity contest. I'm here to preach and teach and prophesy sound doctrine. Hallelujah in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The devil be bound up and cast out as the word go forth in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Hallelujah, glory, glory, glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. I do thank you for bearing with me. This has been a long day. I've been tired. God is good. You always got pressed. <clears throat> like they say, the spirit is willing and the flesh is weak. You got to keep pressing. God, keep pressing and seeing. Glory to God. Mm. Keep pressing and seeing what the Lord is going to do in your life. Hey, shout out about you. Hey, glory to your mighty name. Glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. When you press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God, that's what we were talking about earlier. You praise God. You praise God so you can get into the presence of God. Hallelujah. That's pressing towards the mark. Mm. Hallelujah. For the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. You got to praise the Lord. 
Hallelujah. The praise in the Lord will open up the floodgates of heaven. Hallelujah. It'll get you that promotion. It'll get you that new job. It'll get you that praise. Your business will be blessed. Hallelujah. Dedicated to the Lord. Hallelujah. My God. I don't talk about it much, but, you know, give give to the house of God. Maybe I'll do a teaching on it, but give to the house of God. Hallelujah. It'll bless you. Don't give nothing regardlessly because he ain't going to accept it. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Hey, glory, glory, glory. Thank you, Lord. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we thank you for this word, Lord. We thank you, Lord, that as this word go out, Father, that it penetrates the hearts, the minds, the spirit of the people, Lord. We thank you as this word go forth, all the words that went forth, Lord, that that will be bound up and cast out in the name of Jesus Christ and they shall not return. Lord, as this word go forth, Lord. <clears throat> Bless and anoint the marriages, Lord. Hallelujah, Father. Father God, hallelujah. What God has put together, let no man put asunder in the name of Jesus. I'm talking about what God has put together. Because if the truth be told, God ain't put some of y'all together. That's a whole nother subject. You seek the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Ask him to bless your home and to bless your children. Pray over your children. Read with them. Hallelujah. Study the word with them. Glory to your mighty name. <clears throat> Again, I would like to remind you to go to Amazon and get the book. It's called The Power of Your Prayer. Hallelujah. You can look up Master Dr. Mark Christian Dean the first. Hallelujah. I believe it'll be a blessing to you and your household and your church. Hallelujah. Glory to your mighty name. Glory, glory, glory. Again, if you want prayer, go to the website, hodim.org, or our email address, hodim1117 at gmail.com. <clears throat> if you want prayer, we're here to help you. Glory to God. If you got a testimony, send them in. Hey, thank you, Jesus. Glory to your mighty name. Hallelujah. Um, if you're not saved, get saved. This is the perfect time to get saved. Right now, not tomorrow. Right now. Hallelujah. It, it's easy. All you got to do is be sincere about what you do and what you say. Well, Lord, I ain't never prayed to you before. I don't know if my prayer is going to, if you're going to answer my prayer, well, he will, if you are sincere. Lord, I don't want to do this no more. I don't like my lifestyle. Get me out of this lifestyle. I want to be a great example to my children. I want to be a great example to my wife. I want to be a great example to my family members. I want to be a great uh, uh, example to the church. Hallelujah. I want to be an example to those on the job. Let them know because God will deliver and can deliver you and you don't have to go back in there. Hallelujah. We know that revisiting spirits come, but you got the Holy Ghost on the inside of you and we're pressing towards the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus, you will have enough strength not to fall back into that temptation. Don't feel bad because you're tempted. Everybody getting tempted. Hallelujah. But God, the Holy Ghost on the inside of you, and you are and you're pressing toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God. He will fight your battles. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So for all those who want to get saved, for all those who are in a backslidden position, for all those who are out of fellowship, for all those who just need to recommit, you ain't necessarily done nothing wrong. You just want to say, Lord, I'm here. I ask that you forgive me. 
I ask that you help me. So let's pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we give you glory, praise, and honor in Jesus Christ's name. We magnify you today, Lord. Lord, we ask that you forgive us for all of our sins, Lord. Forgive us for every evil thought, every wicked imagination in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, we ask that you forgive us, Lord, for participating in sin, whether it's adultery, fornication, masturbation, homosexuality, Father God. Lord, we pray in the name of Jesus that you forgive us, Lord. We pray that you forgive us for lying and stealing and cheating, Lord, for everything that we've done that's wrong. Lord, forgive us for rape and molestation in the name of Jesus Christ. Holy Ghost, fire, purify us right now. Lord, I thank you for your grace and your mercy. I thank you for your forgiveness in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. If you said that, you're saved. <clears throat> now, your job now is to get a prayer life. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Read your word every day. Pray every day. Read your word every day. Spend time with Christ Jesus every day. And your testimony is I'm saved. Don't be ashamed of your testimony. I don't care what it is. Revelation 12 and 11 say you are up. Let's read that real quick. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Revelation 12 and 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto death. So they overcame him, him as the devil, by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony. Your testimony has power. Hallelujah. Your testimony can deliver somebody just by giving them your testimony. It'll heal somebody just by you giving them your testimony. It'll stop somebody from committing suicide. It'll stop somebody from committing murder and rape. Your testimony. You overcame him by the blood of the lamb. The blood of the lamb is Christ Jesus. Thank you for dying on the cross for us. Thank you for taking the sins of the world away. Hallelujah. By the blood of the lamb and the word of your testimony. Your word has power. We know words have power. Why? Because God, Christ Jesus, spoke this world into existence. He spoke man into existence. The words mean something. That's why when we used to say, sticks and stones will break my bones, but names will never hurt me. No, sometimes it's better for you to get that broken bone. The broken bone will be healed a lot quicker than your heart and your emotions and your feelings. That's a whole nother subject to you. Amen. We will be with you on Tuesday. Hallelujah. Glory to God. For our corporate prayer, our midweek service, I think we're going to start having uh, a Bible study. I think we're going to start uh, doing a Bible study. And what we're going to do, we're going to go through the history of the Bible. The Old Testament history and the New Testament history. So that's what I'm thinking about. Uh, praying that the Lord lead and guide me that I do everything that he called me to do. You want to be obedient. Obedience is better than sacrifice. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank you for all those who have, <clears throat> who have gotten saved tonight, who recommitted their life, Father. We thank you for deliverance in your word tonight. We thank you for healing, Father. Hallelujah, Father. Lord, we thank you for the blood of Jesus. Mm. Thank you, Father God. We thank you for the blood of the Lamb and the words of our testimony. Father God, we thank you and we magnify you today in the precious name of Jesus. Amen. Glory to God. Tuesday at 6 p.m. 
Eastern Standard Time for our corporate prayer and our midweek service. Hey. Sometimes we just pray the whole time. But sometimes we the uh uh the word will come forth. Sometimes we do both. It just depends on what the Lord is doing. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Father God, we thank you for all those under the sound of my voice. We thank you for healing and deliverance. We thank you, Father God, that you break the chain of the enemy. We bind up and cast out every generational curse in the name of Jesus, and you shall not return again in the name of Jesus Christ. Glory to your name. Hallelujah. 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 